Hello and welcome back to my last play on Shogun 2, the Ashkara Shogunate on Legendary Difficulty. Where last time we left off, we were going to be fighting this Uesugi army, which consists of two generals, 11 Yari Samurai, 1 Yeri Ashigaru, and 5 Boyashigaru. Let's murder them. So we were, um, we were going to lose a town in the end turn sequence because we have no way to respond to that small Homma stack, I think it was. But that's okay. I think we got a couple battles uh, lined up here though, because we got to deal with this one, uh, the Wesugi army, we got to deal with the army in the south belonging to the... Who was it? Who was it? God knows, the, Sot the Sotake? No, I think we just dealt with the Sotake one. There was another force that landed there though this turn, I think. And then there was another force that was going to land next turn, which we'll have to deal with as well. But that's okay. So we actually have a couple battles. And then potentially the fight for the town that we're going to be losing. Uh, we possibly have to fight that battle too. Because we're sending a very small army over to deal with it. Alright, this is a pretty good map. If they just take this hill, I am completely happy with them doing so. Because that, there's no forest to protect them. So we're just going to straight up win that archer fight. I am going to, for once, prematurely remember to put these guys in loose formation. Because that's what I keep forgetting. Uh, the line, I need to change a few things. Because you're a little weak. And you're a little weak. You are as well, actually. Alright, the rest is fine. Okay. There you go. No more weak units in the center. Um, now we have a Yari Cavanier. How fantastic. Okay. Actually, we just do this. And you as well. So I imagine they're going to start sprinting up and they'll just sit around here somewhere. So I just want to get... I, I might even run into their range or walk into their range. I'm not really concerned, to be honest, because we can just win the, the range fight. I could I could be cheeky or cheesy about it and just do what I usually do and just get their units forward one at a time or a couple at a time. But we just have such a huge advantage in ranged already. There's not really any reason to, to do that. So I am just going to move up. I mean, they're up heal, but it doesn't really change. Like, I don't know, I've never really found heal advantage to be such an amazing advantage when it comes to ranged. It just doesn't really seem to do better or anything. In fact, when you're... Like, the only thing is, like, when you're firing downhill, that's uh, an arrow that misses the guy here would more likely hit the ground behind him rather than hit a guy, like, behind him. Whereas if you're firing uphill, or at least, like, you're firing towards a higher surface, like, our arrows are going to be gliding more horizontally than theirs. Theirs are going to be more vertical when they land. So our arrows actually have a higher chance of hitting the guys behind the first, like the dude you're aiming at, basically. So, I, I don't know, I've always found it kind of curious that I, I think this is actually, it's actually better to be downhill, but you don't get any ranged advantage from being up there, the range stays exactly the same. I actually am, after all, going to do this tactic, because I don't really want to go any further. I'll just have them come a little closer to me. Even if it's all five of them, I don't really care. I just want them to get into my range. Because otherwise, when the actual fight starts, I'll be fighting like up here or something, and I don't want to do that. No stun and fight, so no like huge advantage we're gonna get, but it's okay. Alright, all of you, fire arrows, please. Slaughter them. It's a lot of screaming for a bunch of losers. You'll see what I mean, by the way, though. If the, yeah, sorry about the lag. Fucking flaming arrows do that. You see those arrows are almost horizontal still. Like, if you see these guys, it's probably about the same, actually, since they're not very far uphill anymore. My god, it's fucking lag. Uh, yeah, this unit they're firing at. You'll see the arrows, like, they, they go more vertically down. It's not as bad as if they were, like, all the way up here, but still, like, you can still see the see the difference. And that's why I feel firing uphill is actually better sometimes in this game. They're firing basically straight as well because they're not very much higher than us. Anyway. I I probably could have actually used you guys to try and do some damage. At least scare them. I might carry or trigger some of their units to come towards me as well though to be fair, but that's okay. They're going to come back as well. 
unfortunately. Did I trigger them? I definitely triggered them to do something. Whether that is to come towards me, I do not know. Oh, fucking hell, I screwed that up. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna run all the way through, just kill these archers, and then we've triggered them to come towards us anyway, so... I'm gonna back out of that fight immediately. That unit's almost completely unharmed, actually. I didn't realize that was the case. Uh, actually, no, run to the back line. Alright, I'm gonna stay here for another couple seconds. So they've got one bow left. I thought they had maybe another one that's wounded. Yeah, that one at the back there. Alright, let's run you guys out of there. So yeah, two archer units left, that's okay. Right, our line. Uh, yeah, it's good enough. Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord. Shit, I didn't units apparently. Would have been nice if someone told me about it. Gosh. Are you guys in range to murder the final or the remains of that units? Um Oh right, I put you over here. That's a good point. They're going all the way over to this unit, which isn't great, but it's a Yari Ashigaru, so it doesn't really matter. Same over here, but with Yari Samurai, but we have two units here, so it's okay. Right, and now we just wait until we win the battle. And that's how you play Shogun 2. Oh, I was going to go around and kill this unit, but that might not work anymore, depending on what he does. He might get himself killed before I even get a chance. What a dick. You guys murdered that unit for me, so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, go kill them, Felice. Let me kill. Cheeky flank there should hopefully do it. There you go, already broken. Easy enough. Alright. Uh, once he's dead, don't move after him, please. Alright. Okay. Oh, what the fuck's going on over here? Oh, we just... okay. We just killed a unit, apparently. Yeah, let's go a little bit more like that. Uh, that's a Yari 7 that's coming from back from routing. Can we see some mass routes here, please, so that this unit doesn't fucking destroy me? My Lord, yes. There we go. <laughs> I figured that would happen. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna take this unit out of, out of melee. Fuck that. Alright. Another solid victory. How many kills did you guys get? 129. Okay. But Mr. Smart Donkey, Yari Samurai are really good. Yeah, sure they are. I, 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 it's it's not that's not a fair comparison though. To be fair, like sending them into Yari Wall, almost everything loses except for Katana. -san. Like Nagata Sam, I think loses as well. If I remember correctly. Thing is, the Yari Sam just lose against every other samurai unit too. They just lose against they literally lose against every single melee infantry unit in the game. Um, look, Lone Sword Ashigaru, Yari Wall, and Yari, uh, Yari Ashigaru and Yari Wall. Tunnel. Tunnel. Fucking everything. Uh, yeah, definitely can't reach that place, unfortunately. And there's oh, yeah, he was on level four, so that's good. Infantry leader, doctor. That's probably the best one actually, since the other one is horrible, but it's both pretty bad. Like if this guy was like fifty something years old, then okay. But All right, we're gonna sit here and replenish a little bit. We're still waiting for this R2 unit to show up as well, actually. Okay, so we got this one, which we can't deal with right now, but that's okay. We have this unit, which we have to deal with right now. Might even be auto resolvable, especially with this force, but it is the long yet Ishigato army, so it'd be nice to use them for the first time too, though, to be fair. You guys, are you sure you can't move any further? You definitely can. Not very far. But why wouldn't I move further? Uh, and then, yeah, we have this. So it was just Scavenger Land, right? And then we got the. Uh, who the fuck are you guys? Ashina? Yeah, the Ashina. And we have an Otomo army that's still over here somewhere, so they'll possibly be landing next turn too. If not the turn after. Um, okay. Yeah, not much else to do besides do this battle. 
Unless this is like a clear out of us all, but it won't be. It's gonna be either. Yes. <laughs> I don't. I'm trying to avoid as many fights as possible, but I also do want to use the long yaddies because they are pretty fucking good. It's just not really a. a it's not really a fun army to f to fight. Like even Katana Samurai lose against Long Yari Shigaru. So it's not like really a question of whether we're, we're gonna win, it's just that these fucking archers are gonna do more damage than a Katana Samurai would. Probably. But we can we can just we can just do the old tactic again, just gathering their units or having the units come towards me. We kill the archers with range, like we did just then. And then we have them walk into our Yari wall. I could even show you guys the old, the famed double Yari wall. Which uh, I, I've actually realized, it, I mean it's a good tactic still, but I prefer just a regular longer Yari wall to be honest. Um, the long Yaris don't really need any help in their wall. But yeah, I'll show you either way though. So, so uh, one of these units. Oh, look at those dudes, by the way. Look at those long fucking Yaris. Let's have a comparison. Yeah, amazing. Actually, let's just put them in front, right? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh. Oh my god. There. So these are regular Yaris. You can see the other ones in the background. Like pikes is coming uh, way, like towering way above. It's really the big difference. Anyway, so the Yari wall, double Yari wall, is, is basically this. Uh, actually, I need to place you guys first. No, actually, no, I do need to place you guys first, yeah, and then, so you got Yari Wall. Oh, it doesn't work yet, because we're not in the battle yet, but basically, their Yaris are longer, so you put these guys, like, two ranks in front of it, or something along those lines. And then you'll see, once the battle starts, that their Yaris just about line up, and then you have a double Yari Wall. It's like, no one's ever gonna get through here anymore, but it means you need two units for each, like, play, so. Uh, I'm just gonna use a regular long Yari Wall. Uh, okay, yeah, well. Something here. Fucking hell, that's annoying. Okay, and archers. So many sh things here. Things. Stuff. Right. We're just gonna get over here. I'll actually have to remake the entire wall. Because it's kind of fucked. You're gonna sit right there. Okay, so we're gonna sit right here ish or even further around there archers uh, loose formation over here yeah generally you're fine okay Oh, their bows are actually already in range. Alright, perfect. We, we're gonna get one of their bow, bow units to come forward right away. Or two, even better. I'll take on two. Three? Yeah, fine. Oh, no, they're turning back. Two, yes, two. Perfect. Three would have been fine, too, though, fair. The rest of them are going on the second line. That's kind of unfortunate. But it's okay. Right. Literally everyone murdered these people. They're nicely, nicely tucked together. Oh, that's gonna be fucking brilliant, this. Burn in hell. Good old regular bow samurai, by the way, from the Chesukabe. Not Chesukabe bow samurai, again, because of the mod. This is a pretty good tactic you've got, by the way. Oh shit, there's more coming up. Okay, so there are... That's a Yari Ashigaru though. We got one more boss samurai coming up, that's okay. I focus on that one specifically. And the three of you... Get... Oh shit, what the fuck? They snuck up on me. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. Oh my word, it scared the shit out of me. It's okay. Still got two of their archers dead, basically. That one. Uh, oh. Oh no, they fucking... Assholes, you got... Oh, they broke anyway, wow. 
Uh, that's gonna be annoying. We're not gonna be able to do any damage to them. <laughs> I mean, their morale is gonna be busted for the rest of this fight, but... Okay, kill that unit, please. You, you, and you. Yeah, run into position. <laughs> I lost... Oh, I lost 27 men in the end, but still. Yari, Yari, okay. We don't really care about any of that. This is actually kind of annoying as well, because the shoot is in the forest now. So it's gonna not take any damage. Wait, what? Did I see fucking arrows flying away or somewhere? Yeah, they're gonna they're not gonna die very quickly, these. I need to keep an eye on them though, because they're gonna fucking charge at me again, little shits. So are they apparently. Go on, turn back again like you did before. What? No, I said specifically attack this unit, not them. Oh hello. My bad. Be able to murder that unit pretty quickly. But I was gonna go charge send it back, but I don't think I'll even be able to reach. Nope, they're already fucking gone. Or are they? No, they're not. Yeah, that unit's like, that's the problem. It just keeps disappearing as well. It's only taken half its troops so far, and we've been firing at it for quite a while. Alright, that, that unit's a goner now. Should be able to make it shatter. There you go. Okay. Get back into position. They only have three archers left, I think I'm just gonna run the rest of the way. Although they are in Yari Wall though, which is the problem of course. That's why we don't really want that. So, once this unit is done, I'm actually just gonna move up the entire force. In fact, uh, the line can start going right now. We wanna just... We wanna be out of their range, but we wanna be up on this hill here. And then all of my archers, once this unit's done, which will be soon... I'm gonna finish off the remaining two archers as now. That's uh, free still, okay. You get to see the difference of a unit being in the forest and not being in the forest. The amount of damage it's taken is so little. It's absolutely insane. That's why I value a forest so much more than a forest. Uh, that's why I value a forest so much more than a hill. <laughs> Man, forests are so much better than forests, don't you guys agree? Oh shit, have they, mo they have moved up. Fuck. Uh, Alright, it's fine. Go into normal formation for me. We just have to run up and just beat them. Just fucking beat them into a pulp. In fact, since we're already all in range, why don't we all just fucking move up? General, you should probably stick close as well, though. Uh, I have to put my line into Yari Wall before I want to. Nope, they're turning back. Haha. I knew it. This was my tactic all along. You guys walking? Oh, you're running. You're just not very good at running, are you? Okay. Go up there. Uh, right, also, I should probably tell you guys to kill the archers. Or this is never gonna happen. Line! We're just gonna- we're gonna go for the, uh, a different old tactic. Okay, they're all coming for me, never mind. Stop right there. Criminal scum. Okay, that's yeah. That'll that'll do. That'll do, lot. That'll do. It's kind of a. I mean, we're fighting uphill for sure, but it's okay. That's got some long yaris facing a whole bunch of units by itself. Not a problem. Says, oh, what the hell is going on over here? Where did you guys come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Captain Hydro? Have you won yet? I feel like we should have won by now. Everyone rally. Yay! We're winning. Oh, right. I didn't even get a chance to flank around. This game sucks. Alright, there we go. So much effort. Such an easy battle. Man, I'm pretty sure that this campaign would have lasted twice as long. I don't know found out about the fact that you can just end battle and the and uh, end battle auto resource the rest of the battle. I <laughs> I still can't believe I've, I've played 12 legendary campaigns on this channel, not knowing that. No one ever commented it either. I wonder if people actually knew, and just, just like thought maybe I had a reason for not doing it, 
or if people also didn't know, or I don't know. I think most, like, often, more often than not, people know something, or they think they know something in particular, but I don't do it, and then they're like, oh, I guess this guy fucking plays legendary, so he must know what he's doing. Um. But then, uh, yeah, with that one, I wonder if that's the case. Like, if you, if people thought, like, ah, uh, I guess, I mean, it's Mr. Smart Donkey, so maybe, maybe he's got a plan. Maybe this is, maybe he just does it on purpose, because there is some reason behind it, but. Nope, I just didn't know what the fuck I was doing, apparently. Right, I think that's it, isn't it? For this turn. So we got a naval invasion coming in for sure now. We got a second one on the way, which might be landing the same turn as well. Uh, and then we have... Uh, yeah, this naval invasion over... Na naval invasion to deal with over here. Which uh, is going to be annoying, because they're going to take Wakasa. The fucks. There's no way I can protect it with one unit. It's not going to happen. Could you not? Oh, they're running towards their town, actually. I thought, oh, oh, there was two of them right there. That was the Otomo and the Ito, though. I wonder, can we get to the Ito lands fast enough to stop them from sending a naval invasion? Uh, we have two turns, actually, for the Otomo, and that, that might legitimately be possible. Also, they didn't take the town. What the hell? Kono. Ashina. Oh, shit, there's two armies right next to each other here, apparently. Well, that was not very large, at least. Can you reach? Maybe. Do I try? I think I... I f ah, nah, maybe. I suppose I'm not too much in a rush to get here, I suppose, so I could try it. Let's get increased in rank. Are you level 4 or 5? 4. Fantastic. Give me that money. And another Yakuza. Perfect. Uh, okay, so we have... Yeah, we have a, we have two forces on the way here as well now. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Alright, we could definitely sabotage one and just... We can definitely auto-resolve that one. This one, not so much. So if we could bring a second army over, that'd be great, so I don't have to fight it. But I don't know if we can. Uh, I'd also kind of need two ninjas. I could definitely try pulling this army back. I should be able to get pretty damn far. Oh yeah, we can definitely reach. Okay, so if we sabotage uh, either of them, and it would work. As long as we can reach. Oh, what the fuck. Why would you ruin this for me, units? Okay, yeah, we can get anywhere, so we can sabotage the smaller one for a higher chance. 83 or 75. I think I'll take the 83. Please succeed. Yes. Alright, so that's two armies dealt with. Good. You guys, and then I might send this army that way in fa instead, which means I should attack with them, but I can't reach unless I go for the town. Uh, that's okay. This is going to waste a little bit of movement, but that's okay. I'm going to do the old switch. The old switcheroonie. Oh shit, you still can't attack. Okay, well that's unfortunate. That, that, that means this has wasted quite a bit more uh, movement than I had anticipated. Well, not too much, but a tiny, yeah, it's a tiny bit actually, it's fine. Right. Whoa, they're very fucking dead already. Why? It's suspicious. Anyway, see ya. Alright. Anyone else want to land their army around here? I mean, it's up to you. Alright, we're gonna run you all the way back this way. So just, we're switching the armies around, but that's okay. And you were part of this force as well? Yeah, you were. Okay. Whom we now actually have a chance to just straight up kill. Nope, didn't mean to do that. We can get that unit into reinforcement range and then attack with these six, so that's going to be an interesting battle. It's a very simple one, except they have ranged, which we don't have, so we just have to kind of survive the range. And that's it. Alright, so this place is happy with just that monk in there, so we don't need the other one. It's going to stay happy too, so we can go take Kaga and then put the other monk in there. Thanks for the town. So you're gonna come in here, my friend. And you need to still move through. Can you fucking get to this place already? He's been catching up for quite a while now. I think I kept sending him in different directions, though. Not entirely sure what I was gonna do with him, but... Okay, we definitely don't want that. We need to repair that. And this is the rec this will be recruitment for our melee troops. And we already have plus two melee, so I suppose we may as well. In fact, we can recruit 
Um, oh no, we, yeah, we need the encampment. So yeah, we'll build an encampment here. I guess this can go away too. Okay. Um, right over here, yes. This is kind of unfortunate. I have to, I'll have to like catch these dudes, I think. Don't want them to go over here. They're going to run away for sure. Uh, we should be able to reach that town still. Hope so, because I don't really want to take attrition with this army, because it's already kind of busted. Hey, another level 5. Congratulatory. Okay. Nope, we're not going to be able to do that. Alright, let's just sit on the border then. The more, longer it takes, the more annoying, because that means that Takeda could build stuff, shit up, but... They could fuck shit up. Uh, you know what? Ah, nah. Nah. I'm just gonna recruit more units, because we still need to recruit a whole bunch of units. Alright, we need one more of you, and then six archers, so let's do that. And we can get another monk, too. And... Alright, yeah, you were gonna go this way, too, I guess? Uh, yeah, fuck it. We, yeah, we need monks mostly over there. And you, my friend, are going to do the same. A begging bowl. Oh my god, these are both horrible. Fine. Reduced action cost. <laughs> Alright, over here. So we definitely need an army in here. Minus six. It's actually going to be... Minus four, but then minus five again. Although, this is going away. So it's actually going to be minus four, so we don't need an army. We can just exempt it from taxes. It'll be fine. Sweet. Okay, so we don't need an army there. Perfect. We can just send this... These armies over here. Suo, on the other hand, can be exempted as well, so that's fine. Alright, Ninja in here is going to help with the movements. Oh, if I put you in the forest there, they might actually just come out and attack and be like, haha, I've got two armies here. Get fucked. Uh, okay. What else, happiness wise? They're still not fucking. You know, we just got to kill the Choni then. Iwami, right, you don't have to be exempted anymore. You're going to be happy. Good. This force is waiting for the potential Otomo, etc. landings. You guys may as well come this way too, because that's essentially where you're supposed to be at. Um, we can't... Uh, I guess I could put them in a the town, yeah, you know what, that's what we'll, we'll just do that. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny, in fact we can actually sabotage this force now as well. What the hell? That's clearly a bug. Um, I'll still do it though. Nice. I mean, I got the money, so... Why not? And that, that means that we can get these guys in reinforcement range, and this is almost going to be an autosolve at that point. And you were on your way that way too, yeah, you were going to be the last unit in there, okay. Right, so... Is that it? Already? My god, that was short. What a short turn. Ninja. Yeah, you definitely don't need to be in this... You, oh, fuck. I already thought I had him in the army, but I guess he, of course, because I went through the town and moved out of the army. That'll help with the happiness here as well. In fact, that'll make it so that it probably will become happy. It'll be... Yeah, we're gonna gain four happiness and we're looting. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, a monk here. Yep, you need to stay there. Alright, all the Metsuke's on a level four as well, so no more high increases in income, unfortunately. I also haven't checked this for a while. Kyoto, Wari, Ki, Omi, and Setsu. Nope, still the five, the same five settlements. I've done barely any upgrading. I haven't upgraded any fucking money-making buildings for ages. I mean, the only things I've built are sake dens, essentially. It just doesn't matter anymore. Yes, please, gather up all your troops around there so I can kill them all in one fell swoop. Very kind of you. Alright, there's the uh, Ito army. I didn't see the Otomo army land, though. Ah, and here come the Kiza. Well, we've got our army ready there, so that's all right. Yeah, where are you, Tomo? I don't know. Suo. Uh, demoralize an army. We get Dreaded Force. That's actually not bad. That's one of the better abilities you can get. Okay, so let's have a look at these ra areas around here. Yeah, I have to keep exempting that for a while. This place, however, yeah, it's going to gain free happiness next turn, so it'll be fine. We 
gained devoted. Great. That's exactly what I was looking for. Do we have any other exemptions? No, we don't. Aki is unhappy. But it'll be happy next turn, right? It's because of stuff. But it'll be happy. I don't even need this, but it's going to be happy. Uh, I may as well, is what I was going to say. Mino, on the other hand, does need happiness. Yeah, that's still the issue with this province. I think I'm just going to place a unit in it. Because I can't really be bothered to get rid of the rice exchange to build a different building instead. It's probably cheaper as well. Okay. So you guys are off over here. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna sabotage them again. Move you guys right over there. You, if attacking, attacking them now is probably not as old already, to be honest. But I might as well get these other units in there too. And you're on your way, so you'll get involved next turn too. Right, so we need one more archer to make that army full. Pretty good. So over here, we can't actually auto resolve this one for once. Uh, unless I want to bring this army back, but I don't because I I would have to I have to deal with that army too. So I could try and assassinate one of the generals, I suppose. Make it a little easier, perhaps for another resolve. I don't know. All right, let's ignore those dudes over there for the moment. Just gonna take Izu. And I just realized it has been. 30 plus minutes. I'm actually going to end the episode here. Uh, okay. So, with that, by the way, this over here is going to basically be another full stack. So, we can actually do something with that stack, whether it be attacking here or not. But yeah, we should um, definitely consider something like that. I would like to do it with two armies, though, because one army, I mean, it's again, it's good, but. Like, it should be enough, but these places probably all will have one full stack in the towns. Except for the Cheska, because they keep sending naval invasions. But, um, the, I think when we saw, had vision on the Sanuki, and maybe even... No, we never had vision here, because otherwise it wouldn't look like a parchment. We had vision over here, and it was a full stack. Awaji probably have seen the full stack before there as well. So, yeah, we actually have to be somewhat careful. Anyway, next time. So, until then, have a good day and goodbye.